Now the Indian elephants are being placed down as they're like glitched inside of each other right now. Three of them are in. Oh wait, no, only two of them are over here right now. I guess we only have uh, two caretakers, but yeah. I definitely need to get some more uh, trash cans and stuff, but oh, whoops. Uh, I need to also get some donation bins, put them over here. Let's go to facilities. Guest facilities donation box. So that right there on the corner. Another one right there, maybe another one right here in the middle. So there you go, we have really good coverage right there, you guys, nice. All right, now I don't think any of these guys can actually fit through this thing, and if so, then hopefully they don't go in there and do anything. <laughs> but yeah, because we only have null gates back there, or uh, whatever you call those. So uh, they can technically go through that, right? But let's see. Let's, let's see what they think of the area right now. Oh, that's like right on the line, though. So if we add more adults, I guess if anything, maybe we can get rid of some of the water. We can always expand the uh, land out a little bit. Maybe like this way, perhaps. Just a little bit. Hmm. Maybe even a little bit like right here. Just get a couple more square feet. <laughs> maybe a little bit right here to get a couple more square feet, too. Man. Well, right now with just the two of them, they're fine. They need more heart shelter, of course, and heart shelter is going to eat into the land area, unfortunately. Too much sand. They want more soil and more long and short grass. So let's uh, let's start working on that, shall we? And hopefully that's going to be good for. There you go. Oh, yeah, seventy percent. Yeah, that should be fine. There you go. Add some grass there because this is like all sand over here. So there you go. Bunch of long grass right there. Let's add some short grass too. Just gonna sprinkle that in, and they're fine. Nice, awesome stuff. Great. Now, where are the other ones at? Oh, there they are right there. Delivery! All right, well, oh, man, look at all the trash. That just disgusts me. Man, I'm going to have to pause here pretty soon, though, to uh, to grab a bunch of these Planet Zoo bins and keep placing them down, like, on corners and stuff. Place them there, and let's place another one there, and let's place one. Mm, I don't know. Place one here. There you go. Whoa, animal escaped. Yeah, we heard it. Oh, I guess that happens if he's outside of the null barrier, but yeah. <laughs> I should definitely, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get some of these things. Uh, oh, I can't edit this, though. What can I do about that, though? Other than, I guess, adding more actual barriers up there, maybe. I guess I'll just edit this barrier to make sure. Yeah, go down that. <laughs> I'll edit this barrier to make sure it doesn't include that ramp. <laughs> It'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah. I guess we'll have to, uh, now that it's actually gone, let's pause. There you go. Edit barrier. Delete. Uh, delete that one for sure, yes. And, uh, delete that too. Delete, delete, delete. And yes. Well, f man. See, that one right there, if it's, like, just slightly in that bit right there, I'm sure it's gonna be like, oh, it escaped. Let's just make sure we cover as much area here as possible in the water. And uh, now let's try and connect it up over there, so... Maybe from, like, right here, all the way over to there, I'll, uh, make these electric fences. And I know it's heckin' crazy to have an electric fence, like, right next to water right there, but... There we go. And, of course, it's gonna eat into their, uh, actual area a little bit, too. And is that, uh, is this a... Okay, this is good, so it didn't... It's not complaining about the stuff again, so that's great. And what do they think now that there's four of them over here? Yeah, they need 16,000 square feet. I'm really thinking about putting him over here in this area, you guys. This area over here. What do you guys think? I really think it's... <sighs> well, if if we place him over here, you'd mostly only see the lake and then maybe a little bit over there, and that's it. Maybe I allow guests up to this bit? I don't know if I can, although this is completely open right here, so I don't want anyone jumping into there, right? And I can't edit this, right? Yeah, it's like an uneditable uh, building, so... That sucks. I don't know what we could do over there, but that's just... Always just on my mind over there, <laughs> you know? Man. Alright, maybe I'll grab these decorations right here and then, uh... Oh, I can't move them. I was about to say I want to move them over here because there's so much empty space. Maybe I'll have to scope out another area for these, uh, elephants. Because right now... Oh, wow, look at all this over here. These are shops and stuff. Wow! These just like... Oh, these are closed. I guess I just open them and I'll be... Yeah, look at all these shops! These are, like, Indian-themed, too! So they fit in really well. What is this? Oh, this is a, uh... Yeah, restrooms and, uh... There's that other staff area there. Yeah, just open up the shops and then we'll get the, uh, the yearly shop profit right there. I guess we just have to hire vendors for them as well, but yeah, it, all we have to do is just heck and flip a switch and we'll be good. Anyways, where can I put these elephants? Can I actually use this area over here? I'd hate to get rid of, oh, I could actually move it. I'd hate to get rid of all these, like, artifacts and stuff, but I might have to actually, you know, get enough space for all these elephants. So, yeah, for right now, just because we have no other way... 
of getting their land area up right now in this specific area. I guess I have to get rid of these. So uh, I, I'm just going to move these Indian artifacts because I don't want to delete them. They're so cool. Oh, what did I just select in the background? Like random rocks? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> so make sure I select everything that's actually in the cave, though. There you go. There's even like lights over there. I think I won't keep those, though, but uh, let's move. Okay, that's all those. That's good. I didn't pick any random rocks right there, which is good. <laughs> now, where am I going to put these random Indian artifacts? Maybe I'll put them like right here on this corner. Just because I have no other place to put them right now. And maybe that'll remind me, hey, actually put them somewhere, you know? <laughs> so just put them right there, and this will act as a hard shelter, so that'll be good. But now I need to actually edit this barrier to include the cave that we have over here, so. Uh, or to, you know, further include it, because it's already technically including it a little bit, but. Let's edit the null barrier here. And hopefully if they like just barely touch the outside of this cave or uh, the, the barrier here in the cave, hopefully that doesn't make them escape because I might have to continually adjust this over and over and over until we actually get it just perfect. But there you go. So now we've got null inside there and I don't know why that's yellow right there. Hopefully this is fine. Any hey, null is good. Kind of want to make this, uh, this one right here, the specific one, kind of want to make that one electrified fence. So there we go. Just so we're good. And, uh, well, that's technically too short, so I need to make that one just a little bit taller. So let's make that 12.90. Uh, 12.92. Eh, close enough. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. All right, well, let's see now. Let's unpause, let it update, and let's see what they think about the area now. Calculating 12,000 out of 16,000. Yeah. And we only have four over here. We have five in total. One of them's on its way. So, yeah, we, we still need to get the land area up over here, you guys. Wow, I don't know how we're going to do that. And how, how's the water, though? I didn't look at that. Water's still good. It's just barely above what they need, though. Sheesh, yeah, they really need a big area. Holy heck. I can I actually move these rocks? I can delete those rocks, which is good. I might have to borrow some space over here. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this Indian elephant area here is going to stay for much longer, you guys. Do they require five adults or something like that? Let me go to the Zoopedia. Uh, 3 to 30, so up to one male and 29 females, so we can get rid of two females right now, and we'll be fine, but we need to place down all five, uh, Indian elephants to get that part of the bronze. If we get rid of one right now, would it be fine, or is it still, yeah, it's still way too high, so. I don't know how I'm gonna accommodate these guys any better than we are right now, you know? Man. Let me look around the park and see if there's any other areas that might be better for them. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to Zoopedia. Let's see. Uh, inner speed. Oh, well, there we go. We just got the, uh, the in adopt and place five Indian elephants thing right there. So it seems like the fifth one just got placed down, which is great. I I really feel like we could probably put the elephants in the same areas of rhinoceros, you guys. Like, they won't have a benefit or anything like that. 25,000. You guys think we could do it? I think so. And there's per there's water over here. How, how much how much water is that? Yeah, that's that's fine. They have 2,300 uh, square feet. Kind of want to move them across the street, you guys. You guys want to do that? Let's see how that works. And then I guess we'll maybe move another type of creature over here, because this area over here is just too small. Look at that. 12,967 square feet out of 18,000. And we're just barely good on the water. 2,200 out of 2,185. Sheesh. So, yeah, I'd hate to do it, but I'm going to box these animals up as they're taking a massive dump right there. Golly, it's disgusting. <laughs> and let's just... Oh, is that a baby already? Oh, no, no, okay, I was about to say, how do they have a baby already? <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, I, I guess I'm going to have to move all the Indian elephants over. I was kind of thinking about that earlier, and I just didn't know if that area was good enough for them, but I guess I'll, uh, move. Boom. Delivery scheduled, so speed this up, and uh, hopefully they get along. There is no interspecies bonus, though, for them, so, yeah, I... We won't get a benefit in that regard, but they may still get along, which will be great. But the good thing about this, though, is that their habitats are, like, right next to each other. So they just go from there to there, and then they'll be good. And, uh... Yeah, look at that. The rhinoceri are coming over here. I just made that word up. <laughs> Whoa, they look really... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, they look fine. I guess it was just, like, the weird shadows or whatever right there. But, yeah, I guess if anything, all we'll need to do is just add some more... Oh, facilities. Oh, pow oh power cut. Power cut. Where's this power cut at? Let's look. No, nope, power's been restored right there. Wait, what? Yeah, these power cuts. Oh, man, I I really, I feel like the uh, the wind turbines and the solar will bypass the power cuts. So we should be good in that regard if we actually do uh, replace everything with renewable energy. So 18,000 out of 20. Wait, what? 
How's this area smaller now? They require 24,000 square feet? This is 18,000. Oh, I guess it went down. Uh, was that a bad thing? I feel like it might have been a bad thing, you guys. Whoops. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. Now the Indian elephants want 18,000, now 24,000. Now they want 24,000? I guess that, that just kind of combines both creatures here, so I'm seeing both of them, no matter if I select a rhinoceros or a Indian elephant, so... Yeah, that sucks. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Cleanliness risk. Oh, God! This is disgusting. What? Are these Indian peafowls? Where are these? Oh, they are. Okay, well... Golly, this place is horrifying. There's already a keeper over here, but... Holy heck, I can actually physically see the poop. Look at that. That's disgusting. Call a keeper. There's already a keeper in there. I don't know if you can actually... Save it. It's disgusting. Anyways, Baird's Tabor has a claim on this risk. Old keeper over there. I don't know how many keepers we have. I don't know what to do with this Indian elephant situation, you guys. Other than that, I guess just get rid of two of them. Now we already have them placed down, perhaps. I don't know. I thought they can get along with a rhinoceros, but I, I suppose not. Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. I like the sound of that. Let's go to... Oh, God. Let's go to 25 and let's go to 20. Boom. All right. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be good. It's going to be the first time we've had a uh, adult and children prices different. Usually I've had a match in the past, but I guess we'll have them different for right now. Golly, looks like the Indian peafowls are starting to get a disease spread over here. How are we doing progress-wise on the Campylobacteriosis? Oh no, it's Bordetellosis this time. Okay, hold on. You start researching that now. Uh, actually, you know what? We have so many peafowls. You you stop researching that. We have so many Ecken peafowls just infected over here. We need to. Select the enclosure. What? Not the bush. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's go to animals. Let's select every one of them that's been, uh... Oh, that one's already being carried. That's good. Select everyone that's infected. And let's send them over to quarantine just to make sure we can control the spread. Boom. Request quarantine. Although we're not going to have enough quarantine spots, unfortunately. But hopefully, the vets will be able to take care of that. But back to this area over here. Do I want to make this the elephant area? I really do. I really feel like this is going to solve our problems over here, you guys. Now... This edit barrier. Oh, it already, oh, I was about to say, I'm going to have to set up like null barriers and stuff, but no, it already has it set up. Wow. Now, if I select this habitat, which it is a habitat because it has a door, 69,000 square foot. We could fit so many creatures in here. Wow. I'm going to, I'm going to place the water over here. It's going to be, oh, disease animal again. Hopefully they take care of that. Place the water. Where am I going to place it? Oh, God. I could have the water like massive like that. I don't think I want it to be that big, though. That's a lot of water. Like, way too much. So, let's see. That's good, but I think I want a little bit more. I like that. That seems like the perfect amount of water. Not too much, not too little. I think it's great. Look at that big tree. Man, that thing's huge. <laughs> Baobab. Baobab tree? I don't know how to pronounce that. And there's another one right there. How did I notice that? Sheesh. Asia, Africa, Oceania. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move the... Elephants over there, you guys. And then, we're going to, uh, let's go to animals, Indian elephants. Oh my gosh, I keep playing heckin' hot potato with these guys. <laughs> Move over here. And then I guess we'll figure out, like, some other creature to go into this enclosure, because it's already set up and stuff, so might as well use it, right? And this is already connected up here, and people can already, uh, I'm gonna put another donation box over here. So, oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. Duplicate. So, let's do that, do that, and let's do another one right there. Nice. Perfect. And then we can place down some education boards over here. Maybe I'll even place them, like, not even on the edge. Maybe I'll place them, like, right here between these, like, seating areas. That seems cool. Is this a giant pickle? It looked like a pickle at first. <laughs> it's like a seated or a hooded seat area over here with, like, a, a canopy above it. <laughs> it looks like a pickle at first. <laughs> Look at that. Come on. That looks like a pickle. Anyways, yeah, I guess now the elephants are going to come over to here. Is this even part of a uh, work zone? I'm going to have to see. Because I don't think... It is. Okay. Oh, uh, in an okay, yeah, in another work zone. This isn't even a part of a work zone just yet, so I'll definitely need to do that. So let me set those up real quick. All right, there you go. Nice. Now, anyone? Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> has anyone been delivered just yet? But no, <laughs> this path isn't even connected just yet. Let, let's try and uh, let's connect it now. There you go. And I guess I'll just connect it up over to. Oh, hey, well, look at that. It's already got a uh, man. They like redid everything over here already. Sheesh. <laughs> But, uh, there you go. Just so I have as much room as possible over here for more stuff, so... There we go. Look at that thing wiggling over there. Do I like that wiggling there, or do I want to fix it? 
I think it's fine right now. I don't think we need to fix it. But yeah, there's a little bit of area over here we could use for chops or even other enclosures and stuff, but yeah, this is definitely going to be the new uh, elephant area. Now, was that something I ever complained about? No, this one's... Oh my gosh, so many things are being infected by this. I might have to hire another vet. And you heard uh, what Dominic said earlier. He doesn't want to hire any more vets. <laughs> we might actually have to. Ugh, antelope area needs to be cleaned. There you go. We'll have to hire more vets. Gonna have to hire more... Uh, oh, research complete, though. What did we get right there for the barriers? I didn't even check earlier. Hold on. Uh, we got the Gabion or Gabion. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there you go. <laughs> and now we're working on the chains. So that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look around and, uh, look, let's look at our, uh, employees. How many, how many staff do we- Only two caretakers. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, we only have two caretakers, I think, yeah. Let's see, let's look at the map. Negative impacts. Anywhere it needs to be cleaned up. Right here. So let's, uh, place that caretaker. There you go. Caretaker. So now we have three. Yeah, let's place one there. Four. Oh, this area here. Holy heck. Wow. Disgusting. Five caretakers in total. Awesome. Now, let me try and place down some more trash cans around here. Because this place looks like absolute utter trash. <laughs> Alright, you guys are back. Place down a bunch of trash cans. And hopefully that's going to help us out a little bit. Indian rhinoceros area needs to be cleaned up. So there you go. Probably from all the heckin' elephant poop all over the place. Like, look at this. This is... <laughs> There's a heckin' sprinkler all down with this. It's just watering the poo. Jeez, that's disgusting. <laughs> Man. All right, multiple uh, overflowing bins. Yeah, well, we have more caretakers now, so that should take care of that. Quarantine full. That's stuff that I was worried about happening, but there you go. Uh, zoom out. Woo, look at that. Big picture view. Now, let's see. Over here. What are the elephants, right? Yep, there they are right there. Look at them all. They're getting placed down. Oh, whoa, they're like dead. <laughs> Now, what do they think of this area here? Yeah, there is a lot of room over here. 39,000 square feet. Yeah, it was like 69,000 or something like that. Then, of course, we placed down the water and boom. That took a big chunk of out of the uh, land area here. And uh, yeah, they just need hard shelter. and They're good. There's too much sand in here. So I guess I'll add a little bit of long grass, short grass, and we'll be fine. So let's uh, add some long and short grass here. And we may add a bunch of creatures into here just because this is a huge area. We might as well take advantage of uh, just how much space is actually here, you guys. So there you go. Now, over here's a great area to put down some hard shelters away from everyone. They can't see them. And uh, let's see what we can put over here. So good habitat. And uh, let's get rid of bear's taper on that one. Go to Indian elephant. And there it is right there, Indian elephant. And might want to place down like sprinklers and all that kind of stuff too, but for right now, let's go over to beds and shelters. And the only thing we have right now is just this gigantic thing right here, but it may actually be a good thing because remember, we're probably going to have a lot of creatures over here. So let's try and place this down to where at uh, some of it's in the in the landscape and stuff, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Look at this. Wow. Massive heckin' barn over here. Have to extra large beddings. Add some of these bad boys around here. This is one way to, I guess, bypass the uh, terrain restrictions, huh? <laughs> place some of these uh, extra large beddings here, have as really almost. And uh, I'll place some large ones around here as well between them. And some mediums in here too. There you go, a bunch of beddings there. All right, great. And anyway, it's more creatures that need to be heckin' uh, quarantined. Might have to build another quarantine or something like that, you guys. Wow. There are just so many, golly. Listeriosis, man, there's like three different diseases in here at once. You kidding me? Bordetilosis, Listeriosis, we had Capillobacteriosis in here earlier too. We only have two vets. We need to hire a third, I'm sorry. Oh man, we actually have really good money, $70,000. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> let's hire another kind of vet. Let's go to staff and let's go to, uh, where are the uh, vets at right now though? Just so I know where to place them down immediately. Uh, oh, what, commuting? What? Oh, um, where's this one? Oh, God, I didn't see these up here. Okay, so that's where that is. Let's place down another one over here. And veterinarian. There you go. And uh, let's see. What? Oh, man, I need to add uh, caretakers and then all that kind of stuff. I need to add them to work zones and stuff. But let me pause. Let me see. What work zone are you a part of? No work zone. Okay, well, that makes sense because you are a vet, so you should cover the entire park and not just like a specific area. So, yeah, that makes sense. Same thing with the caretakers, honestly. It, it makes sense for them to just go all over the place and not really uh, be restricted to like one specific area. And it seems like I'm going to add some trash cans to this entrance area, even though I did. <laughs> seems like I'm going to have to add them over here, so. There you go, trash, trash. And then immediately when you come in and out, 
Boom, trash. All right. Hopefully they actually use them, right? Sheesh. Well, now we have three vets. Hopefully that's going to be a little bit better. And uh, quarantine. There's only one quarantine. I, I don't think I've had a part where I've had two quarantines or anything like that yet. But there you go. With three vets now, they should work on all the creatures just a little bit faster. So that's going to hopefully take care of this outbreak that we have going on. And then whenever they are uh, done with the outbreak, maybe they could start researching, you know, two of the three diseases that we just had. Anyways, I want to go back to the uh, elephant area over here and check them on them. See if we'd actually make them uh, any better. But, yeah, last meal quality. We don't even have any food over here just yet, so. It's actually placed down there. I didn't place food in their other enclosure just yet. We didn't. That was so early into that. Sheesh. Uh, let's place down. Boom. Oh, man. That's like a big dip there. I don't like that. That's a little bit better. All right. Water pipe. Let's do a water pipe right there. Perfect. Even though there's a big lake right there. <laughs> so let's place those down. And uh, let's go over to enrichment. And let's see if they have any enrichment items. So we have a sprinkler. Boom. And uh, you know what? A boom. And a boom. Three sprinklers right there. Let's get a large ball for you guys to play around with. And you guys like Skittles. So... Oh, whoa. Why is that blue? I'm going to have to like, modify their colors, huh? Yep. I'm going to have to modify it. So which one's which? That one's going to need to be white. So there you go. And that one's going to need to be red. All right. Perfect. And uh, let's duplicate that one. And let's make it like a bowling pin sort of meme so there you go <laughs> so uh, now they're going to play around with that just like they did over there in the rhinoceros area now let's go back to enrichment or uh oh acacia tree or uh, no not acacia africa marula tree we're gonna get rid of those they, uh, they don't like anything here they do like the big old baobab tree though so that's good <laughs> i guess i have to get rid of like everything else though unfortunately man all right well uh, other than that though they're they're good with the plants and the coverage uh but what about uh, the rest of enrichment. Yeah, I still need a little bit more toys. Let's turn on the light. There you go. So, a uh, large snowball. Let's get a large snowball. Place that down, like, right there. It's, like, rolling down the hill already. And they need at least one more thing. So, let's place down a uh, snowman skittle. And, uh, let's put that over here. There we go. And they're good on their toy enrichment. Perfect. Look at their food enrichment. Hanging barrel feeder. Let's get one of these. Can they, can they go up here? Maybe. I think I'm going to place it just like over here, just to make sure it's like easy for a, uh, there you go, for a keeper to like resupply and stuff. Large barrel feeder. We want to place one of these down too, so I'll place that down right there. And we're at 60 out of uh, 100. I guess I'll place down another hanging barrel feeder. I guess I'll place this down like, yeah, I'll place it like over here. There you go. Just so we have something over there. And now we're at 100, so great. So now we're good on their enrichment, and their overall welfare is 98%. The only thing that's down is last meal quality is a little bit down, and drink cleanliness is a little bit down. I think we confirmed earlier that this is being uh, cleaned. Oh my gosh, just barely being cleaned by that. Sheesh. Wow. <laughs> that is... I don't, I don't think it goes down if this one has, like, low durability. I think it always... Oh, it does. Yeah, 197 feet. Man. So I might have to make that uh, move a little bit to the left or something like that, you guys. But look at this. People can go up here and actually look at the uh, look at the elephants and stuff like that. I think. I'm like, I'm only seeing people like coming up here and then leaving. They're not really staying up here or anything like that. So, hmm. I don't know if I want to build any like paths coming out of here and make it look super ugly. But now we've got the elephant area set up. So that's good. Indian peafowl area. Golly. Keeper over here again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Hi I, I am going to hire another keeper just because we have new creatures in the form of the elephants, and uh, we just need more people to just take care of them in general. So let's go over to the zoo, let's hire another keeper, and uh, I don't know exactly which uh, work zone this was, so I, I guess I'll check real quick. Oh, yep, I think it was this one, Gariel and Rhino. I think that's it. Yep, and we just have a keeper there, and that's it. So I'll add you to the Gariel and Rhino, and let me rename that though, Elephant. There you go. Just to keep track of it a little bit better. And let's add that new keeper. Did I add him? Did I even hire one right there? Or was I just looking at the other uh, stuff? I think I did. That one has no work zone. This one has no work zone. And yeah, that's the new one. Okay, so let's add that one over to the... There you go. Elephant area. Make sure he takes care of that. And now we have two of them in this area. Great. So now we have two keepers in this work zone. I kind of want to do the same thing for the mandrel and peafowl and taper and antelope just to have uh, two, work zone, or, uh, two keepers per work zone, you know? So... Let's go do that real quick. Let's hire another keeper here and another keeper here. There we go. Perfect. Let's go back to this and let's send. Yep, that's a new one. Send you over to Mandrel Peafowl. Send you over to Taper Antelope. Perfect. And then 
Now that every one of them has at least two people working on them, there's going to be one guy who's uh, just kind of a uh, free roaming around. No work zone at all, just, you know, just in case any area needs help, then hopefully he can lend a helping hand. Anyways, let me just give everyone a little bit of training up to two stars. There you go. And speaking of staff, let's look at our staff rooms. Yeah, they don't have a perk. We didn't set up a perk just yet. So let me do staff healthcare. I usually, I always use staff healthcare, honestly. So let's just do that. And uh, no staff room space. Yeah, I guess we'll have to get another one, huh? Just because we are hiring more and more staff. And once again, man, Campylobacteriosis is breaking out over here. Man! Well, thankfully, we have three vets. It seems like, uh, man, there's just disease all over that place. This is disgusting. <laughs> well, now we have more keepers, so they should keep the habitats a little bit cleaner to make sure these diseases don't break out anymore, right? So, let's see what else do we have here. Mechanic research, though. Or barriers. Perfect. So now we have the, uh, what is it called again? The steel mesh or something like that? That's going to be great. Uh, or chain steel posts. So that's going to be awesome. And uh, now they're working on the one-way glass. So that's awesome. Vet research, though. I don't know if I want to have a vet researching anything right now. We actually have three active diseases right now. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. <laughs> let me go back to staff. And let me check the other uh, vets. Uh, yep, that new one is currently being trained. So that's good. I just wanted to make sure right there. And more diseased animals. Golly. Well, the peafowls are... Complaining about their last meal quality, so let's see if I can even improve it. I doubt I can. I can! Okay, so it goes up $4 per feed. Yeah, that's nothing. Let's, let's improve that if we can. <laughs> and we can, so let's do it. Man, look at all these lights up here that, that color red at night. I need to find out what that is and start using that myself. That's crazy cool. Oh, a balloon. Whoops, I guess I'll have to heckin'. Boop. Oh, that didn't work. There we go, we got it. <laughs> Quarantine full, though. Man, I, I know, like, I knew that was gonna happen, but. Oh, look at this! People were actually, like, gathering around! Awesome! Now we need to add, uh, education boards over here, so let's do that. Facilities, viewing... And I guess I'll just place down standard education boards up here. There you go. Just so people will start using those. That's gonna be for the Indian elephants, and then... Uh, that's kinda crooked. Man, that's just ever so slightly crooked. <laughs> Let me try and fix that real quick. There you go, perfect. That should be powered, so, uh... Boom, Indian elephant. There you go, nice. And I guess I could add a speaker there too, but for right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy and paste this and have it have them both say Indian elephant. Boom. So now we have two things for Indian elephant, so that's gonna be good. I guess I'll have this one lined up. The same spot that one over there is, so about right there. Perfect. Very nice. So now they're gonna get educated on the Indian elephant, so that's gonna be great. We place down some speakers over here as well, and that'll uh, improve the education rating as well. And uh wow, look at all these people just kinda gathered around over here. Great, I love this view. Look at him swimming! That's so cool! <laughs> I love- look at him playing with the Skittles in the background! Can I, uh, oh, I can't- I wanted to select these guys. And there's poo everywhere! Oh my god, it's disgusting! <laughs> there's a snowball there, too! Look at this guy, he's playing around the speaker. Or, uh, sprinkler. I love- look, look at all that! Can, it, like, balls of chocolate all over the place! It's disgusting! Jeez! <laughs> you have to call it a keeper over here, huh? There you go, let me select that. I'm like, the cleanliness is still at 99% even though there's poo everywhere. How is that a thing? I don't know. But there's poo in their beds. <laughs> Jesus, this guy. Oh yeah, what are they thinking of the heart shelter? Is that good? Hopefully it is. Uh, yep, that's good. That's great. Now I need to get rid of the marula tree. And pretty much everything else, honestly, except for the giant tree, right? We saw that earlier, so let me just get rid of them. And then I guess I'll look at the other plants and stuff that we can place down. I think this is technically outside of bounds. Uh, here we go. Gotta get rid of these. Shouldn't be too hard to find some really cool African trees. So, let's see what they think about, about the area now. Still, where is this one at? Oh, I guess they, they know about that bush up there somehow. So, let's get rid of that one. And they know about that one, too. How? I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of it, though. And there's one more plant somewhere that they don't like. I don't know. Let me see. Where is it? What? It's this tree on the outside! How do they even know? It's- No one can see it! No one can see that thing! How? I'm so curious! And now they're complaining about palm trees, which I think are over here, right? Nope, they're up here! How do they know- Well, uh, they can probably see those, but sheesh, still! It's crazy how picky these guys are. What about now? Do you like the area now? Yep, they're fine with the plants that we have in here now. I'm kind of thinking about adding another one of these giant trees. Just putting it at the top of this. Like, look at this. Or I put it right here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Now, where do they think of this? Almost good on the coverage. You need a little bit more. And plants are about 50%. So let's add some small things. So what do they like again? 
Asia continent temperate grassland tropical. So set that up over here. Let's see if we can find some like smaller trees and bushes and stuff. Beech tree. Yep, that's perfect. Place that there. Great. And uh, we can have another one right there. Nice. They're not complaining about that, so that's great. Black. What? Pop poplar tree. I guess I'll place that down over there. Nice. Place down some more of these black poplar trees. And uh, yep, they're good with the area right now. That's great. So we can find some like bushes. Yep, some bracken bushes and stuff. Place those over here. I like those. Let's kind of get a little bit of variation around here, you know? Ah, <gasps> cherry blossoms. We can place these over here too. Where's a big one? Oh, look at that. Put it right there, right in front of their area. So beautiful. Put it some small. What in the world? That sprinkler's floating. How did that happen? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. There we go. We got it fixed. <laughs> I don't know how that happened right there. That was crazy. But yeah, now now the area should be perfect for these guys. They're just hungry right now. I'm at last meal quality. Uh, can I actually improve the uh, the meal quality here? Do I have to research them? I can, okay. So it goes up about $900 per feed, $10,000 per feed here. But then again, these are elephants, so they eat big. Huh? I wonder if these guys can actually benefit from having multiple feed. I'm like, I'm going to have multiple feed. Look at all the poo! That is horrifying. Oh my god, look at this guy. How are you fitting all the poo in that thing? That is crazy. <laughs> Jeez, he's like he's like sucking up a bunch of like what are those things called? Whoppers? Just disgusting. <laughs> as big as his head. The poop things are bigger than his head. Look at that. Look at the scale. And he's smiling. He's got a big old smile on his face. Just suctioning up tons and tons of poop right now into my infinite like black hole of a heckin' suction device right there they just oh you, you missed and there's poop back there. this guy did a horrible job i'm firing this guy right now oh, oh my gosh oh my <laughs> oh my that's a lot of poop time to clear up the empty habitat habitat what where is that at oh i didn't oh yeah i didn't i was about to say like what <laughs> i guess i'll just name this one uh indian elephant there we go, Indian Elephant, and then we'll rename this one over here to uh, Empty Habitat, just because there's nothing in there right now, so there we go. And uh, maybe here in the future we'll figure out what to put over there.